Seven Essential Skills Needed to Survive a Deadly Attack Writings of Purpose and Intent by Ernest Emerson Introduction The lights are bright, the cheers and whistles of the crowd have a strange rhythmic ebb and flow, and to you it sounds a little like you're hearing it all through a long cardboard tube. You're in a light sweat, the gate behind you swings shut, and you look up towards the cheers, but you can see nothing because of the spotlights pointed, it seems, directly at you. Your mind is racing, but you are focused. Your hands tremble slightly and you begin to breathe deep and heavy to get more oxygen into your body. You can actually feel your heart beat faster and faster. Looking across the ring, you see him. He looks mad, focused and intense, hopping from one foot to the other in the universal rhythm known only to fighters. Your mind screams, I'm ready, I'm ready, I am ready. The ref shouts, fighters, touch gloves. It breaks your concentration and you step forward into the center of the ring. Or, it's 10.30 p.m. and as you turn down the street to your apartment, you notice there are no parking lots out front. I know it's late, but can't there be just one open spot that isn't a block away? Wait a minute, there's one. Looking at the spot, it does look tight, but you know you can fit in. As you jockey your car back and forth, your thoughts go to work and your boss. Whenever Tom is absent, the boss always yells at us. We're not the one who's absent. Why doesn't he yell at Tom? You open the door, reaching across the seat for your briefcase, and step out. By the time that jerk Tom shows up back to work, everything has calmed down. This is the fourth time it's happened. The boss is up. BAM! It's not a noise, but a blinding flash of white light that drops you to your knees. Your right hand shoots reflexively to the back of your head. Something hits you explosively in the middle of your back and drives your face hard into the pavement. You hear something. It's not a voice. It's more like a snarl crossed with a grunt. Not really even human sounding. It's getting louder each time you are hit. Again and again, something explodes into the side of your face and ribs. Three more times, something slams down between your shoulder blades and finally grinds you into the cold blacktop. The crushing blows stop and you hear footsteps, running footsteps, and the world fades to black. Two different fights, two different worlds. Which one are you preparing for? There are many of us who readily accept our role as protector and defender of the things that we cherish and love. Our wives, our husbands, our children, our family, our neighbors, our teammates, and our country. And those of us who have consciously decided to accept that responsibility have taken steps to ensure that we are able to do so effectively. But have they been the right steps? Now think of this. Danger strikes when you least expect it. What happens if you are not there? At that moment, your wife, your daughter, your son, or a complete stranger may be the only protector in the game. They may have no one but themselves to rely on. And so many times I've heard the statement, my family is safe. I've trained at this shooting school, this martial arts school, etc. Well, don't kid yourself. Unless you and your family are aware of how to survive a real deadly attack, then you are still unprepared. This book will outline seven essential skills to help you and your family survive. Let's look at it like this. Let's say I trained an athlete how to hit a baseball and hit it well. Let's say I even trained him well enough to hit against major league pitching. You could say he's a really good hitter. Why just look at him? Look at all the training he's had. But let's say I never taught him a thing about the game of baseball. Let's say I get him up to bat and he punches a line drive out to left field and then he just stands there. Players, fans, and coaches are screaming at him. Run, 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 run. Where? Why? and he is thrown out at first on the relay from left field. He has all the skills needed to hit. He knows how to run, but he never learned anything more than to hit the ball, or maybe, in your case, hit the target. You may be able to hit the target, but are you ready to play the game? Take notice that the title of this book is The Seven Essential Skills Needed to Survive a Deadly Attack. 
you will notice that the words win, beat, prevail, dominate, subdue, or outscore are not in the title. You win at checkers. You outscore your opponent in basketball. In fact, if you strip all the unnecessary words from the title, only three will remain. And those three words are essential to survive. Nothing, repeat, nothing else matters. A deadly attack is not a game. There is no winner or loser. The very nature of what I'm discussing here is simple. If a deadly attack is successful, someone lives and someone dies. If you start to look at it in those terms, you start to see the possible outcomes. If you can do that, you can prepare to create the outcomes that will be in your favor. For example, if I realize that I'm walking into a trap, then turn around and make an exit, I have created an outcome in my favor. I didn't even mess up a hair on my head. And the bad guys who set the trap, well, they may not have messed up their hair either. But who cares? I did what was needed to survive. Surviving a deadly attack does not always mean engaging in the attack or becoming a willing or non-willing participant. You will find that throughout this book and in all the other books I've written, I will ask the reader or student, and it's the same in my classes, to accept a premise. I don't ask you to understand it. I don't ask you to question it. I ask you to accept it, lock, stock, and barrel. Why? Because I'm bringing to you a lifetime of experience in these subjects. This experience has taught me that there are some universal truths, principles, and laws that exist in all endeavors. It sometimes takes a lifetime of study to self-discover them. I'm giving you the benefit of my experience to shorten your journey in discovering these truths. Asking you to blindly accept a premise is a teaching methodology that I use to shorten the learning process. It puts everyone on the same page as I explain and teach various aspects of human conflict, and it has proven to be very effective. If I'm doing my job, you should end up agreeing with the premise also when I'm through explaining the process. Some of these truths I learned, and some were taught to me by those much wiser than myself. So here is the first universal truth, and it is one of the most important things I have ever learned. It consists of two parts. Part one, every skill is a skill that has been learned. And if part one is true, then part two will be true also. Part two, any skill that can be learned is a skill that can be taught. Mozart was not born knowing how to play an instrument. Einstein wasn't born knowing physics, and Babe Ruth wasn't born knowing how to hit a baseball. By whatever set of circumstances, they all learned how to do what they did best. It is the same with the skills and strategies you need to survive a deadly attack. You may also find that you can apply the strategies as defined in this book to a number of circumstances, such as business, sports, martial arts, or even marriage, but none of these bear the consequences of a deadly attack. So, for the sake of what I'm about to outline in this book, I will always be talking in terms of responding to a deadly attack, a form of combat where the attacker, the bad guy, wants to and intends to kill you or your loved ones. In this case, your goal is to survive by any means necessary, whether by use of intuition, awareness, ruthlessness, violence, cunning, and guile, or simply just running like hell. Your goal is to survive. If that means killing the bad guy, so be it. If that means outrunning the bad guy, so be it. If you are the survivor of a deadly attack, I guess you could call yourself the winner. Here's the way we are going to approach this. A bad guy is going to kill you or your loved ones, and you must stop him from accomplishing his goal. That's what this book is all about. If you'd like to purchase the book, Seven Essential Skills Needed to Survive a Deadly Attack by Ernest Emerson, go to the website www.guardianshepherd.com. You'll also find downloads, articles, more books, DVDs, seminars, and training tips. And 
be sure to visit our YouTube channel, Ernest Emerson's Guardian Shepherd. Thank you for listening.